All right. I'd like to call to order the Cuyahoga County's regular meeting, of the County Council for Tuesday, May the 12th, 2015. Clerk, would you please call the roll? Yes, Mr. President. Calling the roll, Mr. Miller? Here. Mr. Germana? Here. Mr. Gallagher? Mr. Gallagher is absent today. Mr. Schron? Here. Ms. Conwell? Here. Mr. Jones? Here. Ms. Brown? Here. Mr. Hairston? Here. Ms. Simon? Ms. Simon is here. Mr. Greenspan? Mr. Greenspan is absent today. And President Brady? Here. You do have a quorum. Thank you. I'd like to um, make a motion to excuse Councilman Greenspan and Councilman Gallagher from this particular meeting. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Two members are excused. And I'd also like to move to um, uh, per Rule 5H, I'm told, to excuse Councilman Schron from uh, our April 28th meeting. Uh, I have to say that uh, the Councilman did indicate to me two weeks earlier that he would not be here, and I forgot about that. So um, we would like to take, take care of that now. Second it. Second it. All those in favor say aye. Aye. And the Councilman is excused from the 28th meeting. Pledge of Allegiance. I I have no um, recommendations under item four. Item five, any public comment related to the agenda? Uh, Mr. Chair, there is none. There's none, really? Okay. All right. Uh, item number six, I'd like to um, have a motion to, yes, yes. On item number four, we're not going to do silent meditation. I have no recommendations, do you? Yes. Uh, Very good. Bishop E. Perry. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. Uh, do we have a motion to approve the minutes uh, from April 28th's Committee of the Whole and the April 28th regular meeting? So moved. So moved and seconded. I'll second it. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. The minutes are approved. Announcements from the Council President? There are none. Messages from the County Executive? Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'll keep it short. Uh, last week was the uh, Nurses Week celebration, and uh, it gave us a chance to honor those uh, nurses who work uh, uh, to uh, serve our community so, so, so helpfully. Uh, nursing is a major occupation in, in Northeast Ohio. There are more than 50,000 nurses and nurse assistants uh, in the uh, Northeast Ohio region, which is pretty amazing. And they do so much to keep our entire community healthy which is why I was so surprised to see their door prize, which was a beautiful basket filled with Pringles, Reese's Pieces, Milk Duds, Mike's and, Mike and Ike's, and others. So uh, that's my message for today. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Sounds, makes me hungry. <laughs> um, legislation introduced by the council. Consideration of a resolution of council for first reading and referral to committee. Resolution number 2015-0088, a resolution making an award to College Now Greater Cleveland in the amount of $500,000 from the Cuyahoga County Educational Assistance Fund for Component 2 of the Cuyahoga County Educational Assistance Program for the period ending June 30th, 2019, authorizing the county executive to execute the contract and all other documents consistent with said award and this resolution and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective and additionally, Councilman Miller has requested to be a sponsor. Okay, this will be referred to Education, Environment, and Sustainability. Legislation introduced by the Executive. Consideration of a resolution for first reading adoption under suspension of rules. Could have a motion to suspend the rules. Move to suspend rules. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. 
Any discussion? All those in favor of suspending the rules, say aye. 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 The ayes have it, and the rules are suspended. Resolution number 2015-0089, a resolution amending the 2014-2015 biennial operating budget for 2015 by providing for additional fiscal appropriations from the general fund and other funding sources for appropriation transfers between budget accounts and for cash transfers between budgetary funds in order to meet the budgetary needs of various county departments, offices, and agencies, and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. Move to that. Second. Moved and seconded. Councilman Miller. Uh, Mr. President and my colleagues, Chairman Greenspan asked me to present on his behalf the uh, fiscal resolution for this meeting is short and contains only a couple of items. Uh, as usual, uh, Councilman Greenspan has circulated the, uh, the answers to the questions that we put forward to uh, to. Uh, budget and management, as well as the uh, updated list of uh, items that involve use of reserves. Those items are on your desk. The item contains the $950,000 for the Common Pleas Court Special Projects, for, which are funded from court fees and fines. And it also contains appropriation of $450,000 from the Ohio Inspector Gen uh, Office of Attorney General to uh, assist with the investigation of the rape kit results. This uh, uh, adds to the $600,000 in funding that the uh, council put forward additionally for this purpose last year. And Councilman Greenspan and I both re recommend acceptance of the fiscal resolution as is. Thank you. In favor of the resolution, say aye. 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 Those opposed, the resolution is adopted. Consideration of resolutions for the first for first reading and referral to committee. Resolution number 2015-0090, a resolution making an award on requisition number 32971 to Perk Company Incorporated in the amount not to exceed $2,739,971.50 for resurfacing Wood Hill Road from Quincy Avenue to Kinsman Road in the city of Cleveland. Authorizing the county executive to execute the contract and all other documents consistent with said award and this resolution. Authorizing the county engineer on behalf of the county executive to make an application for allocation from county motor vehicle $7.50 license tax funds in said amount to fund said contract and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. You referred to Public Works Procurement and Contracting Committee. Contracting. Resolution number 2015-0091, a resolution approving right-of-way plans as set forth in plat number M5021 for replacement of Cedar Road Bridge number 02.39, formerly known as bridge number 229, over Doan Brook in the city of Cleveland, authorizing the county executive through the Department of Public Works to acquire said necessary rights-of-way, finding that special assessments will neither be levied nor collected to pay for any part of the county's costs of said improvement, and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. So we'll go to public works. Resolution number 2015-0092, a resolution approving right-of-way plans as set forth in plat number M5020 for replacement of Lakeshore Boulevard Bridge number 01.12, formerly known as Bridge number 188, over Nine Mile Creek in the village of Bratnall, authorizing the county executive through the Department of Public Works to acquire said necessary rights-of-way, finding that special assessments will neither be levied nor collected to pay for any part of the county's costs of said improvement and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. Public Works. Resolution number 2015-0093, a resolution authorizing the use of a portion of the proceeds of the Cuyahoga County Sales Tax Revenue Bonds Series 2014 County Facilities Improvement in an aggregate principal amount not to exceed $14 million for the purposes of paying certain costs of demolition of blighted and nuisance properties and making grants therefore, authorizing other actions related to the use of such proceeds and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. So go to Finance and Budgeting Committee. 
Resolution number 2015-0094, a resolution authorizing an amendment to contract number CE-1200-487 with Employee Benefits International Incorporated for professional health care consultant services for the period August 1, 2012 through July 31, 2015 to extend the time period to July 31, 2018 and for additional funds in the amount not to exceed $823,375 authorizing the county executive to execute the amendment and all other documents consistent with this resolution and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. So go to Human Resources Appointments and Equity Committee. Resolution number 2015-0095, a resolution amending resolution number 2014-0259, dated December 9, 2014, which made an award on requisition number 30390 to Medical Mutual of Ohio for the period January 1, 2015 through December 31, 2017, by changing the amount not to exceed from $116,156,022 to $140,000. $41,636,022 to include a $116,156,022 for group health care benefits, including medical and pharmacy benefit management services for county employees and their eligible eligible dependents, and B, $25,480,000 for group health care benefits, including medical and pharmacy benefit management services for Cuyahoga County Benefits Regionalization Program participants, employees, and their eligible dependents, authorizing the county executive to execute all documents consistent with this resolution and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. Let's go to HR. Resolution number 2015-0096. A resolution authorizing amendments to agreements and contracts with various providers for the Cuyahoga County Fatherhood Initiative for the period July 1, 2014 through June 30, 2015 to extend the time period to June 30, 2016 and for additional funds authorizing the county executive to execute the amendments and all other documents consistent with this resolution and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective for the agreements contracts providers and in the amounts not to exceed and programs as printed on the agenda. So go to Health, Human Services, and Aging Committee. Committee reports and consideration of resolutions for second reading. Resolution number 2015-0082, a resolution authorizing an agreement with State of Ohio, Office of the Auditor, in the amount not to exceed $533,000 for an annual audit for calendar year 2014 for the period February 5th, 2015 through September 30th, 2015, authorizing the county executive to execute the agreement and all other documents consistent with this resolution and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. This item will move to the May 26th meeting. Resolution number 2015-0083, a resolution authorizing a revenue generating agreement with the Metro Health System in the amount not to exceed $3 for lease of space at William Patrick Day Services Center, located at 2421 Community College Avenue, Cleveland, for the Cuyahoga County Women, Infant, and Children's Program for the period July 1, 2015 through June 30, 2018, authorizing the county executive to execute the agreement and all other documents consistent with this resolution and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. This item will also move to May 26th. Resolution number 2015-0085, a resolution authorizing an amendment to contract number CE-1300-322 with Catholic Charities Corporation for pre-employment screening services for Ohio Works First applicants for the period July 1, 2013 through June 30, 2015 to extend the time period to June 30, 2016 and for additional funds in the amount not to exceed $517,100, authorizing the county executive to execute the amendment and all other documents consistent with this resolution and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. And this will move on to the May 26th meeting. Committee reports and consideration of resolutions for second reading adoption under suspension of rules. Could I have a motion to suspend the rules? 
Second. Been made and seconded. All those, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 The rules have been suspended. Resolution number 2015-0070, a resolution authorizing an agreement with City of Euclid for participation in the Cuyahoga County Benefits Regionalization Program for the period April 1, 2015 through December 31, 2017, authorizing the county executive to execute the agreement and all other documents consistent with this resolution and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. Moved to a second. Moved to a seconded. Discussion, Councilwoman. Um, yes, I j just want to know, let everyone know that this is uh, between the City of Euclid. Um, it's for rate stabilization, potential rate reductions, and bargaining leverage for health benefits with the City of Euclid. But um, the reason that this is under second reading adoption, because I like things to go three readings, is because of the date um, for 1 2015. So we needed to move it. Um, under suspension of rules. Right. Thank you. Any, any more discussion? Just okay. want to add my name. Simon's name. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed. The resolution is adopted. Um. Resolution number 2015-0081, a resolution authorizing an economic development fund small business growth loan in the amount not to exceed $905,000 to 3550 West Market Street for assistance to purchase property located at 9200 Noble Park Drive, Brexville, authorizing the Director of Development to execute all documents consistent with said loan and this resolution and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. Mr. President, Mr. President um, I have a substitute that I would like to uh, uh, introduce. For First, purpose. we need to move to adopt, my, is my understanding. Um, oh, sorry about that. Sorry, I move to adopt. Yeah. Second, all those. Uh, now we have the discussion, Jack. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have a uh, substitute resolution uh, that has been uh, attached to our document on page 134. Uh, it is uh, more of a technical nature, is all the changes uh, that are being made to it. We had a thorough uh, hearing at, uh, in the Economic Development Committee, and uh, jobs are being created, and it's a great thing uh, coming to our county. So I would encourage everybody to support the substitute, and uh, I would move that we substitute uh, the resolution that's uh, attached as, as 134 mm -hmm. in our book. I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving the substitute say aye. 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 Ayes have it. The substitute is approved. All those in favor of approving the resolution on its merits as substituted say aye. 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 The resolution is approved as substituted. Resolution number 2015-0084, a resolution making an award on requisition number 32996 to Youth Opportunities Unlimited in the amount not to exceed $4,586,119 for the temporary assistance to needy families summer youth employment program for the period May 1, 2015 through October 31, 2015, authorizing the county executive to execute the contract and all other documents consistent with said award in this resolution and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. Second. Mr. Chairman, uh, this resolution was, was thoroughly vetted in committee uh, HHS committee over the last few uh, days. Uh, we have roughly $4.5 million, uh, TAN of dollars, temporary assistance to needy families. These dollars not only help the residents of this county, but give them employment skills and, and work opportunities. And we certainly, as a county, certainly strategize with these TAN of dollars. In this committee, we uh, the administration requested an additional $100,000 to cover the 14 to 15 year olds that um, did not receive assistance uh, through this past round of, of monies. So we did recommend that this $100,000 be added. It is a part of the $4.5 million before us. And I ask my colleagues for support on this. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed, the ayes have it. The resolution is adopted. 
Resolution number 2015-0086, a resolution authorizing an amendments to contracts with various providers for emergency assistance services for the period September 1, 2012 through April 30, 2015, to extend the time period to April 30, 2018, and for additional funds, authorizing the county executive to execute the amendments and all other documents consistent with this resolution, and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective for the contracts that the providers and the amounts not to exceed is printed on the agenda. Second. And seconded. Discussion. Uh, Mr. Chairman, this program provides assistance with food, clothing, furniture items uh, to help mitigate the risk of abuse and, and neglect. And so, I, again, I ask for your support and, and vote for this legislation. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed, the ayes have it. The resolution is adopted. Resolution number 2015-0087, a resolution authorizing a contract with Emerald Development and Economic Network Incorporated in the amount not to exceed $10,653,076 for administration of the Shelter Plus Care Tenant-Based Rental Assistance Program in connection with the Homeless Emergency Assistance and Rapid Transition to Housing Act for the period May 1, 2015 through April 30, 2016, authorizing the county executive to execute the contract and all other documents consistent with this resolution and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. Adopt. Second. Discussion. And this program provides rent subsidies to the disabled and homeless population to ensure client housing stability. And I ask for your support. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Resolution is adopted. Consideration of resolutions for third reading adoption. Resolution number 2015-0072, a resolution authorizing a revenue generating agreement with the Ark of Greater Cleveland in the amount not to exceed $3 for lease of space at William Patrick Day Services Center located at 2421 Community College Avenue, Cleveland for the period July 1, 2015 through June 30, 2018, authorizing the county executive to execute the agreement and all other documents consistent with this resolution and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective moved adopt second moved and seconded discussion mr. chairman <clears throat> this resolution and the the one following uh, pretty much a no-brainers the uh, there is space uh, in these buildings that are uh, paid for by the uh, County Board of Developmental Disabilities there's extra space available and they're able to have this small amount for a, a lease to make good use of uh, the full building. So I'm, I move that uh, the council supports this. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Resolution is adopted. Resolution number 2015-0073, a resolution authorizing amendments to various revenue generating agreements with Educational Service Center of Cuyahoga County for lease of space at various Cuyahoga County Board of Developmental Disability Centers for operation of Help Me Grow programs for the period September 15, 2013 through September 14, 2015 to extend the time period to September 14, 2016 and for additional funds in the total amount not to exceed two authorizing the county executive to execute the amendments and all other documents consistent with this resolution and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective for the centers as printed on the agenda. Move to adopt. And moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed, the resolution is adopted. Committee report and consideration of an ordinance for second reading. Ordinance number 2014-0037, an ordinance amending the county's contracting procedures by amending Chapter 501 of the Cuyahoga County Code and declaring the necessity that this resolution become immediately effective. That's will move to the May 26th meeting. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Councilman. Uh, since I'm going to be away at the next meeting, I'd like to make a few brief comments on this Alrighty. item, if I might. Uh, the committee version uh, narrowed the scope of what was originally a much broader piece of legislation, and we decided to defer action on the implementation of the disparity study and, and community benefits as we continue to 
to refine our, our approach to those items. And what this legislation does is that it implements uh, a couple of administration recommended changes to the contracting procedures. In particular, it says that if, if a uh, contract is a requirements contract and doesn't have a specific end date, that we use an assumption of a five-year time frame to determine the expected cost and whether it goes to the full council or to the board of control. And secondly, it updates the process for the uh, uh, procurement and diversity to adopt rules and, and procedures and incorporates that into section, chapter 113, which is the administrative rules board procedure. So there are changes of procedure will be worked through that process. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, 11 miscellaneous committee reports. We'll start down here at this end if anybody has any. I don't have a report, but just that our meeting. Oh, I mean, mean, yeah. Is that okay? Scheduling the meeting for education right. next right. week, Wednesday right. at um, 3 o'clock to hear the legislation, um, discuss the legislation that was introduced today and also to, to review legislation in the committee regarding the um, kindergarten savings account. Okay. Three o'clock. Anybody over here? Yes, yes. Next Wednesday at one o'clock, uh, the Health and Human Services Committee will meet to address the items that have been uh, referred today. <clears throat> Excuse me, Human Resources Appointment and Equity will meet on May 19th. There were two items that um, were on the agenda this evening. And uh, so the, uh, my colleagues, it will be a close quorum, so if you can both show up, we'd appreciate it, as well as the presentation for their health benefits will be on June 16th. Public Works will be meeting ne next Wednesday, May 20th at 10 o'clock to uh, handle the three pieces of legislation referred. Uh, Mr. Chairman, on, on behalf of uh, Chairman Greenspan, Finance and Budget Committee will meet at the, its usual time on Monday, May 18th at 1 p.m., and we will hear the sales tax bond legislation that was introduced tonight and also uh, discuss the, uh, the changes in expected costs for the Emergency Operations Center. Thank you. Okay. Item 12, any miscellaneous business for the council? Councilman Jones. Chairman, uh, just like to share with, with you all that our, our closing the achievement gap students from across uh, this uh, pilot program uh, there are, again, 50 to 75 children across four cities. Uh, but this coming week, we have selected, or the program director, and those cities have selected 40 children to go on a, a trip to Alabama and Atlanta uh, next week, and they will have an opportunity to, uh, again, have their horizons broadened by attending Morehouse College for a tour, uh, for the commencement uh, ceremonies of Morehouse. They will tour the CNN uh, offices where they broadcast CNN and uh, cross the Selma Bridge and see some rare papers uh, by Martin Luther King and quite a few other uh, enjoyable events throughout this coming week. Um, I will go down myself. It's, it's a week long, but I'm going to go for like some of the highlights of the of the week this coming Thursday and Friday. And I have uh, set up a, a tour for them to meet with our counterparts, the legislative counterparts in uh, Atlanta. So the president of, of Atlanta's council, uh, Caesar, Mitch, Caesar Mitchell, he has been gracious enough to bring our group to City Hall, give them a tour of, of, of City Hall in Atlanta, and again, just another opportunity to, uh, to reach out and, and expose our, our, some of our at-risk youth to something, uh, something a, little, a little more. So it, it's, uh, uh, it's going to be a great trip, and I look forward to sharing with you after we get back. Thank you, Councilman. Mm -hmm. Councilman Schron. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, two weeks ago when I was absent here uh, from the meeting, uh, I was only right around the corner. Uh, I was uh, involved with uh, bringing, uh, as president, uh, the Industrial Supply Association for the first time they've been here as a convention since 1914. 
Uh, they took over every inch of the convention center so that you know, I got use of good uh, county property and uh, I rented out the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and then uh, the music hall after that the next day. So um, it was exciting to have an industrial manufacturing base back here in Cleveland, only to be followed the next week by iron and steel. So uh, between the two of us was, I think, somewhere around 10,000 hotel rooms uh, for those two weekends. So uh, I, I was I, I was not here, but uh, my heart was here. Uh, great. Thanks. That's fantastic. Any other miscellaneous? Uh, hearing none, any public comment unrelated to the agenda? Mr. Chairman, there is none. All right. I'll move that we adjourn the... Uh, regular committee for today. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Meeting is adjourned. I think uh, everybody should try to, right, if you're not going to the game, get out of here. Get out of here quick. Both of them are going to the game. Bad games.